Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 and God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let the let it divide the waters from the waters God made the firmament and divided the water from under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament and it was so God called the firmament heaven and even the morning were the second day And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and gathered together of the waters called seas. And God saw it was good. God created the water. No evolution. God created the water. And that's what we're going to look at water today. Water. Genesis 21, verse 19. This is Hagar. She's been put out by Abram. She's at the point of everything, everything's dead. Her son's going to die. And God, verse 19, God, the one who made water, the creator, opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad to drink. So here is God giving a woman with a child. With no hope. Now I don't know if that well was there the whole time. She was blinded. What kind of miracle that God did. But there is God the creator of water giving Hagar and Ishmael. <coughs> a drink of water. Chapter 24. Chapter 24, verse 17. Abraham has sent his servant out to get a bride for Isaac. And the servant is at a well. And he wants a woman who is going to be reliable, a hard worker, of good character. And the servant ran to meet her, this would be Rebecca, and she said, let me, and he said, excuse me, let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, drink, my lord, and she hastened and let down her pitcher upon her head and gave him drink. And when she had done drinking, giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for the camels also until they have been done drinking. And she hastened and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again into the well to draw water for all his camels. Here's a servant of Abraham. And he's trying the woman. He wants a sign from God. And he says the sign, give me a drink of water. And she goes above and beyond a drink of water she gives to his camel. Over a hundred gallons of water for ten camels. Hagar was at the point of death. God showed her a well. Here is a sign, a, a wife for Isaac. Give me a drink of water. Exodus. Exodus 17, verse 6. The children of Israel in the wilderness. There's no water. 17.6 Behold, I stand before thee upon the rock in Horeb. Paul will say that rock is Christ. And thou shalt smite the rock as Christ was smitten. And there shall come water out of it. That the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. 
is Israel. We have no water. We have no water. God says, I want you to do an impossibility. I want you to smite. And the Bible says that rock was a flint rock. A dry rock. You know the flint rock that you, in your lighters? Hagar was at the point of death. And God showed her a well. The servant is looking for a wife. Give me a drink of water. Israel, we have no water. And God does a miracle for Israel. Numbers. And I hope we get this on correct in my writing. 20, I hope. Yep. 20, this is later on. Now God told Moses, speak to the rock. That's a whole nother lesson. And Moses lifted up his hand with his rod. He smote the rock, that rock is Christ. You don't smite God twice. And the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank and their beasts also. So here they are in the wilderness. We have no water. We have no water. And God miraculously again gives them water even at the rebellion. Of Moses, the anger of Moses, the sin of Moses. God still gives water. The creator of the water. Judges. Judges chapter 4, J.L. Judges 4.19. We're not looking at the complete story, we're just looking at water. Caesarea has come to her. And he said unto her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water. Give me a little water to drink. For I am thirsty. She opened a bottle of milk. And milk is a sedative. She's going to put him to sleep so she can kill him. I said, I'm thirsty. Give me a little drink. I'm going to kill him. She opened a bottle of milk and gave him drink and covered him. He asked for just a little water. She gives him milk. Gospel of John, chapter 2. Gospel of John, chapter 2, verse 7. And Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said, draw now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they buried it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine. Everybody knows here. This is the water turned to wine by Jesus. Now nowhere in this chapter, you go read this chapter. Nowhere it says, that Jesus drank it. He said they drank it, but didn't say Jesus drank it. You know, I was going to bring up the Last Supper. But can't prove it for a fact, but when he said when he took that cup, I'm not really sure. In my own personal thinking, I don't know if he even had drink that night. But I can be wrong. But here's the water turned to wine at a wedding feast. John chapter 4. John chapter 4, verse 7. Then cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. 13. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh the water that I shall give him, is the creator offering water, spiritual water, shall never thirst spiritually. But the water that I shall the water that I shall give him, the water I give him shall be in him a water well water springing unto everlasting life. Let me try that verse again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well 
of water springing up into everlasting life. And the woman said, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. And then it gets into a great big debate. And then she and an entire town, most of the entire town that she lives in, they get everlasting water, the water of life. Read John chapter 4. Go and read chapter 4. Jesus said, we started off, Jesus said, verse 7, Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. Nowhere, nowhere. That woman gives Jesus a drink. She gets into a, a debate with him. And get into questioning. And, and then Jesus questions her after the water about her husband. She runs off and drops her water pot to go get the, the men of the city. But she does not get or give Jesus a drink. In John chapter 4. John 19, 28. After this, Jesus on the cross, Calvary, Jesus knowing that all things were accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, he suffered and died according to the scriptures, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it on his hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar. What? The man is in the sun and a desert climate upon a cross suffering, dying. And he comes out to say one of his dying breath. The last one is it is finished. He exclaims to the people, I thirst. Now, when he thirsted in John chapter 4, he didn't get nothing. And when he thirsted in John chapter 19, they give him vinegar on a sponge. Man got water in Genesis chapter 1. Hagar got water at the well from God. Abraham's servant got water from Rebekah. The children of Israel, twice, and throughout their, their wilderness journey were given water from that rock, which is Christ. J.L. gives milk to, a, to Caesarea to ask for water. The wedding feast, where the wine ran out, Jesus gives wine that came from that water miraculously as miraculously the water came from the rock. And I don't know how miraculous was the water of the well for Hagar. John chapter 4 Jesus is at a well with a Samaritan woman asked for a drink and he does not get a drink at all. John 19, upon Calvary's cross, he says, I thirst. And the creator that made the water, and he made the vinegar. He made all to make the vinegar. The creator that made the water, that gave Hagar water. Got vinegar. The one that Turn the water to wine. Says I thirst. He didn't get no water in John chapter 4. And in John 19 upon the cross for our sins. He got vinegar. Revelation. Revelation 21. Verse 6. And he said unto him, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, Jesus Christ, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst, a fountain of water, of life, freely. But 
in John, he didn't get no water from the Samaritan woman. He did not get no water upon the cross. But he doesn't carry a grudge. And in Revelation 21, the fountain of living water of light is offered by the Alpha and Omega, the beginning, the end, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's offered freely. How's that? Chapter 22. Verse 17. And the Spirit and the Bride say, that's the Holy Spirit and the Christ, the body of Christ, the church. Come! And let him that fears say, Come! And let him that's a thirst, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. There's the bride saying, hey, we'll give you water. The Holy Spirit saying, we'll give you water. And we just saw the Alpha and Omega, Jesus Christ. God makes water. God made the water of life. And he's given it. You know, God never charges his water. It's man that charges for the water. And when God wanted a drink in John chapter 4 and in John 19, he did not get a drink. Praise the Lord that the Lord loves us. And that he does not carry a grudge against his creation. You know, that's one thing. Joseph did not carry a grudge against his brothers. His brethren. And Joseph is one of the greatest types of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me all my needs. And my wants. 